Good evening, St Michael's. Uh, I hope you're doing all right. Uh, it's the end of another crazy day uh, in one of the weirdest weeks I've ever known. And uh, I hope you're okay. I'm just particularly thinking of those families who are gearing up for the end of school uh, for who knows how long uh, tomorrow and uh, for all the staff and uh, teachers, teaching staff having to think about doing school differently, um, continuing to work, and all those other key workers who are uh, just um, making such a commitment to help help our nation uh, stay on its feet. And uh, so my thoughts and prayers are with you all. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update really on, um, on developments here. So it's been really exciting seeing how uh, Rose Cottage Cafe has evolved and transformed. I'm just gonna read a short statement out uh, that Nathan put on the uh, Rose Cottage uh, Facebook page. This is a statement from the church. In light of the increased need for food bank supplies, St Michael's Church Twerton has enlarged the food bank at Rose Cottage and we are now taking donations and distributing them to those in need. We will be open Monday at 6pm till 7pm and then Tuesday and Thursday at 9.30am till 10.30am for as long as we are able to or permitted to do so. The priority now is to keep everyone safe and follow the guidelines given by Public Health England regarding hand washing, social distancing and self-isolation. So please do not come to Rose Cottage if you have even mild symptoms as we rely on healthy volunteers to keep this going. And what an amazing team of volunteers it's going to be. If you are in isolation and need supplies, please ring this number and we will try and signpost you to someone that can help. The number is 07458 300 862. We are grateful for the strong partnership we have with Genesis and Food Bank and would like to thank our amazing community for continuing to bring donations, offering practical help and giving financial support. Please keep help coming as in as it, we cannot do this without you. If you are able to donate any supplies or give practical or financial help, we would love to hear from you. So do keep praying for that. Um, and if you want to get involved, uh, do speak to Nathan. There's lots of different ways you can get involved. Uh, again, we um, would love to be able to also care for the uh, elderly and vulnerable and those um, uh, who particularly need help in this coming coming months um, within our community church community as well. So please do let me know if uh, you need help or if you can give help. Um, uh, we are just in a strange time and, and it's a time to recommit uh, to God, uh, if you want to, um, some some will turn away from Him, and this is not unusual for Jesus. And we see um, in John um, chapter six. Um, I'm just reading from John chapter six here. Uh, Jesus has just fed uh, fed the five thousand. You'll be familiar with that miracle. And then He's walked on water, and then um, He starts talking to um, His disciples about uh, how. Um, they just need to trust him, uh, that he is the bread of life, that they don't need to sort of work hard to please God, that it's about trusting him and believing that uh, that Jesus is the son of God. And, and it says in verse 66, on hearing it, many of his disciples said, this is hard teaching. Who can accept it? Aware that his disciples were grumbling about this, Jesus said to them, does this offend you? What if you Excuse me. What if you see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? The Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and they are life. Yet there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe and who would betray him. He went on to say, this is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled him. From this time, many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. Many no longer followed him. You do not want to leave too, do you? Jesus asked the twelve. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. So I think Jesus is asking that same question to us uh, now. Do you want to leave? Do you want to uh, 
stop following me or are you going to go all in? And, uh, and my prayer is that we would uh, experience a going all in as a church that we would experience a new passion and hunger for Jesus, uh, a desire to read the Bible. We've got, we're going to have a lot more time to read the Bible. We're going to have a lot more time to pray, a lot more time to spend time with God, a lot more opportunity to spend time uh, with those in our households, uh, getting together um, to pray together, to uh, read God's word together, to encourage and build each other up and to disciple each other. And um, we're just looking at different creative ways of helping you do that as a church. So um, one amazing tool that's come across uh, our path um, is, uh, is something called Zoom. And it's a video call that allows lots and lots of people to join in at once. And uh, we're going to trial it on Sunday morning at 10.30. That's when we usually have a service. So we're going to try it, not in the church building but in our own homes using Zoom. Uh, some instructions will be posted up on the, on the church uh, Facebook page, as well as I'll send an email out with an attachment. Um, this is a, a chance for us to get together um, and uh, online, and there'll be uh, a, some games and um, thoughts on Mothering Sunday, as well as a time of, uh, uh, of worship. And we're gonna try and have a mega jam, a Zoom jam, uh, where if you play an instrument, um, uh, maybe you want to pick up your instrument. I'll tell you what the keys of the songs are and you can just join in and uh, we'll all make a loud, joyful noise to the Lord uh, and it'll be fun. Uh, may not be particularly tuneful, so apologies to those who don't play an instrument and can't and can actually hear what we're doing. Um, and then we'll have a short message. And so that's the plan on Sunday morning. Uh, we're it's the call to prayer. So in the evening, um, we're going to be encouraging everyone to light a candle in their window and pray for our nation. And then we're going to try um, exploring what it might mean to have small groups um, in this season. And we're going to use Zoom again. And if you are interested in joining a smaller group of people to pray together, uh, to encourage one another, uh, to have a bit more um, honesty with one another uh, and uh, then would you just let me know? Um, just tell me if you'd like to be in a Zoom group and I'll try and allocate you with a Zoom group leader and they can get in touch with further details. And finally, we want to try and encourage uh, parents, uh, provide some resources for parents uh, who have ch children at home. I know that you'll be having things from school to do, but um, it'd be great to, to spend some time with them looking at, uh, ha at faith together as a family. So we'll provide some resources. We'll put that on the Facebook page. Uh, the church Facebook page is going to be a really helpful platform. So if you're not on Facebook uh, yet, you might want to consider uh, signing up, getting your own profile, and then you can find out about lots lots of these things and uh, the wonderful Priscilla Tony Russell's wife is going to read us a story uh, at, at bedtime uh, for for those children uh, who like listening to stories and grown-ups as well and uh, that will uh, more details about that and when it's starting will be on the Facebook page as well uh, so hopefully there'll be some um, fun things some uh, helpful things um, but please do uh, uh, say yes to Jesus. Uh, 